Hey, so I've got a question for you. When was the last time you updated your LinkedIn profile? Now, I want you to comment below and let me know. Was it, you know, within a week? Was it over six months? Was it over a year? Let me know however long it was. Let me know in the comments below. But in this video, what we're going to discuss is ways you can use AI tools like ChatGPT to help you update or improve your LinkedIn profile. So let's get into that right now. Hey, if you're new here, my name is Lowell Brown. I'm from Going Social, where we take the complicated out of social media marketing and make things a little more simple and easy for you. Now, LinkedIn is one of the platforms that I'm really passionate about, and I have a lot of clients that come to me for valuable tips and information to help them improve their profile or improve the engagement or leads they're getting from LinkedIn. Now, one of the things that I recently talked to a client about was tools that they could use to update their profile. Now, if you've ever struggled to come up with a catchy headline or help improve or update your personal bio, you'll be surprised how helpful AI tools like ChatGPT or other writing platforms can assist with coming up or editing some of that copy that you may be stuck with. In this video, we're gonna cover four ways that AI tools can help you update your LinkedIn profile. Let's get into it right now. So the first and most important, in my opinion, is the headline. That's right. You know, you've got on your personal profile, you've got your name, and oftentimes people think of the headline as their title. What's their job? Well, that's not always the best thing to use on LinkedIn as your headline. Now, while your job is important, people can find that a little bit lower below on your profile. What people really want to know is, what do you do? What makes you special? How can you serve them? So you might be asking, well, how can an AI tool like ChatGPT write a headline for me? It doesn't know who I am. The magic with these AI tools, in some cases, is guiding them to understand what you're trying to do and how you're trying to do it. So what I sometimes do when I first go into a tool like ChatGPT is I will explain what I'm doing, what I'm about, and what I need help with. And that's the best way to guide that AI tool to produce an output that will help save you time. So in a case like this, what I'll do is I'll go into ChatGPT and I'll say, hi. <laughs> I won't say hi, but <laughs> I'd like to say hi. So in this case, what I would do is I would go to ChatGPT and I'll type in a prompt in an introductory prompt. I'll say something like this. My name is Lowell Brown. I have a social media marketing agency. I specialize in Facebook and Instagram ads. I do Google search ads. I help clients by consulting them to improve the engagement they get with social media. I'm trying to update my LinkedIn profile. I need to come up with a headline that'll help me stand out in the crowd and describe what I do. Can you help me write a headline in for my LinkedIn profile? What you can also do when you do this, when you add that as a prompt, is you can tell it that you need a certain amount of characters filled or a maximum amount. Um, and that will help guide it so that it doesn't write a paragraph that's too long. So if you type something like that in, you'll be surprised at the output that you get. Now, another trick here is to ask ChatGPT or whatever platform you're using to give you a number of ideas. You can say, give me three ideas. And that way you're getting a couple variations to this that you can try. And you can do the same thing and adjust it over time to see if that helps serve you better. Now, the thing to keep in mind here when you're doing your headline is sometimes these are used to describe what you do, to summarize in a sentence of like, hey, my name is Lowell, this is what I'm all about. But also it helps this platform because these are almost like keywords where if someone's typing something in, they're going to find a solution. So if someone was looking for Facebook ads for real estate, well, if that's part of my headline, then I'm more likely to come up and search higher than some other people would. As an example, if I help real estate agents improve their LinkedIn profiles, I could come up with something like LinkedIn, uh, LinkedIn consultant for realtors. You've got LinkedIn, you've got coaching or consultant and realtors. And those are things that people might type in. So it addresses who I am, what I'm about, what I do, how I serve people, right? So that's tip number one. Now, the second most important area of LinkedIn and your profile is your about us section. And that's pretty much your bio. It's like a longer description of what you do 
uh, what makes you special, what your experience is, things like that. So while some people will use this almost as like a an, an introduction as if someone was, um, you know, introducing them as a speaker. Uh, some people might have trouble kind of narrowing things down or talking about their history of what they do, what they've done, that kind of thing. What you can do with the help of an AI tool is take a bio that's been written about you and again, prompt the um, AI tool to say, hey, I've got a paragraph, I've got a bio, but I'd like to update it and I plan to use this on LinkedIn. Can you help me update it? let the chat GPT or any other AI platform answer and say, yes, they can, or explain how they can do. This way, again, you're prompting why you need help, what you need help with, and what your expected outcome is. This will help guide the AI tool to help write or craft what you're asking for. Now, some people like things written in a first person, something people like their bio or their about us written in the third person. So again, you can prompt the AI tool and say, I'm trying to create a profile for LinkedIn. I would like this um, produced in the first person. Here is a paragraph of text that I previously have used on a website or a resume or something. And then what you can do is say, I've got updated information that I'm going to include below that. And I would like that added into this summary as well. So let's say that you've got, you know, an old about us um, profile that you used previously on LinkedIn, or maybe it was on a website or something like that. And then you've got updated information. Maybe it's something like recent awards you've done or a new position you have or new responsibilities within the company. Well, you can add that in and ask ChatGPT or whatever other platform to just rewrite this for you. Again, when you're doing these prompts, you can guide the tool. You can say, I want it to be a maximum of this many characters, or I want it to be exactly or as close to this amount of characters as possible. You can also ask it to write a few variations of it. And that way you're getting, you know, a couple options that you can work with and guide. Things won't be perfect. You'll have to reread this stuff. These AI tools don't know every single thing about you. So you wanna write or you wanna read whatever spits out and you, you will likely have to adjust it a little bit, but this will help you craft things in a new way. It'll help phrase it in a different tone. You can even tell it to, you know, write it in a funnier tone, write it in a very corporate tone, write it in a casual tone. My audience is small business owners, so write it so it appeals to small business owners. Whatever you do, you can guide the tool to craft a message in a different way for you, see what the outcome is, and see if that works for you. Oftentimes, doing things in this way will help you come overcome that writer's block. It'll help present new ideas to you or give you ideas on ways that you can expand on whatever they spit out for you. So that's my tip number two. All right, tip number three, this comes down to your role in an organization or your job where you get down to that, you know, my working experience section um, on LinkedIn. Now this, it doesn't have to be so um, long and, and robust. Now, oftentimes people just, you know, share information about what their responsibilities were within that position or job that they were doing. And again, you can go to chat GPT and you can say, this is, I'm writing for LinkedIn. I'm adding this to this section of LinkedIn for my job and experience. I need help, um, fine tuning this or improving it. And here's what I did in the job. Can you help me write that? And, and chat GPT will help you to craft those bullet points for you that you can add in. So again, this is another way to use tools like that just to help improve the messaging that you might be trying to relay in a better way. Now, another thing that I've used uh, AI tools for is in sending a message to somebody. Now, whether it's that connection request or whether it's just sending a direct message to somebody, whether you're following up or you want to share some information that you think might be helpful or valuable to them, using AI to help craft a message can be really helpful. I mean, sometimes I'm able to quickly write things my, on my own, but having a second set of eyes, well, in this case, AI eyes, to reread or rewrite or change the tone of a message, it, it never hurts to, to do that. So when I'm trying to do things, whether it's to, um, you know, as a sales or a marketing copy, or whether I'm just trying to craft a message and see if I can be more concise, um, I will use tools like that. Now, 
not only chat GPT, but you, you might use something like Grammarly. Well, that's AI as well. You might use, you know, Canva AI um, to write a message. There's all these platforms. I know that um, even, even Constant Contact for writing email newsletters, they have tools like that as well. There's so many platforms that are leveraging AI to help craft messages. Leverage that to your advantage. See what kind of copy you can come up with that might be a different way or an improved way that you would have done yourself. It never hurts to just get a second, um, a set of ideas there and see what, what works out. It might improve everything for you overall. So why not try it out? So those are my four tips to help you use AI tools to write or improve your LinkedIn profile. I hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of this video. Let me know if you've tried any of these and if it, you found it really helpful. And if you're looking for more helpful tips on LinkedIn, definitely check out my LinkedIn playlist here. I've got lots of topics where I cover things like how to um, enable creator mode and add a featured section to your profile, how to set up a LinkedIn newsletter, even things like using AI tools to help you prepare your social media posts or your posts on LinkedIn um, in, in a batch form. So many videos that I've created here that are helping people out and I want you to check them out as well. So don't be shy, check out those playlists and you can follow along. I'm gonna show another couple videos right here on this side after this video. Be sure to check those out as well. And until then, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.